Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on problem solution essays. For many students, problem solution essays are the most challenging essay type. The way they're worded can vary hugely, which can make it difficult to understand how you should answer the question. Generally, you'll be asked to write about both the problem, or the cause, and the solution to a specific issue. Sometimes, however, you'll only be required to write about possible solutions. So, it's essential that you analyse the question carefully, which I'll show you how to do in this lesson. I'm also going to demonstrate, step by step, how to plan and write problem solution essays. Here's what we'll be covering. Identifying IELTS problem solution essays, six common mistakes, essay structure, how to plan, how to write an introduction, how to write main body paragraphs, and how to write a conclusion. You'll find in-depth lessons on planning and writing introductions, main body paragraphs and conclusions on the website and in related videos. I've put links to these in the notes below this video. Here are two typical questions. They consist of a statement followed by the question or instruction. One problem faced by almost every large city is traffic congestion. What do you think the causes are? What solutions can you suggest? Since the beginning of the 20th century, the number of endangered species has increased significantly and we have witnessed more mass extinctions in this period than in any other period of time. State some reasons for this and provide possible solutions. And these are some examples of different ways in which questions can be phrased. The first half of each question relates to the problem or cause, the second half to the solution. Pause the video and read through them. See if you can identify the synonyms that have been used instead of the words problem, cause or solution. I'll help you with this in a minute. And here are a few questions where you only have to write about the solution. Again, pause the video, read through them and pick out the synonyms. It's essential that you're able to recognise the common synonyms, words and phrases used in problem solution questions. Here are the key words and their synonyms used in the questions on the last two slides. The synonyms used for problem are issues, resulting and situations. Cause has sometimes been replaced by reasons and why, while for solutions eight different synonyms have been used. Deal with, addressed, tackled, remedied, improved, measures taken, solved and prevent. Before we move on to some common mistakes, I want to quickly explain the difference between a problem and a cause. Here's an example of each. First the problem. I've missed my last bus home after visiting my friend for the evening. Now the cause of the problem. I misread the timetable and thought the bus left at 22.45 when it actually left at 22.35. The cause is the reason for the problem. There are six common errors in problem solution essays. Confusing problem and causes questions. Having too many ideas. Not developing your ideas. Not developing both sides of the argument equally not linking the problem and the solution, and not being specific enough. It's common for an essay to consist of a list of problems and solutions, without any of them being expanded on or linked to each other. Sometimes a student will focus on just the problem or only the solution, which leads to an unbalanced essay. Both of these issues will result in a low score for task achievement. You must choose just one or two problems and pick solutions directly related to them. Explain them and give examples. Another serious error is to write generally about the topic. You need to be very specific with your ideas. Analyzing the question properly is essential to avoid this mistake. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Now let's look at a simple structure you can use to write problem solution essays. 
It's not the only possible structure, but it's the one I recommend because it's easy to learn. It will enable you to quickly plan and write a high-level essay. This structure will also give us a well-balanced essay with four paragraphs. We now need some ideas to add into the structure and we'll have everything we need for our essay. Pause the video and spend a few minutes studying it. Most questions will state problems, causes and solutions in the plural, that is, more than one. However, it is acceptable to write about just one. This will give you an essay of just over the minimum 250 words. To write about two problems or causes and solutions will require you to write between 350 and 400 words, which are a lot to plan and write in the 40 minutes allowed. It's better to fully develop one problem and solution than to end up with one idea missing an explanation or an example because you run out of time. The step-by-step -step essay structure I'm going to show you includes one problem and solution, but you can write about two if you feel able to or more comfortable doing so. Here's the question we're going to be answering in our model essay, followed by the three steps of the planning process. The question. One problem faced by almost every large city is traffic congestion. What do you think the causes are? What solutions can you suggest? And the three planning tasks are to analyse the question, to generate ideas and to identify vocabulary. Analysing the question is an essential step in the planning process and will ensure that you answer the question fully. It's quick and easy to do. You just need to identify three different types of words. Topic words, other keywords and instruction words. Topic words are the ones that identify the general subject of the question and will be found in the statement part of the question. I've highlighted them here in blue. So this question is about traffic congestion. Many people will do this first step of the process and then write about the topic in general. This is a serious mistake and leads to low marks for task achievement. What we need to do now that we know the general topic is to understand exactly what aspect of traffic congestion we're being asked to write about. The other key words in the question tell you the specific topic you must write about. By highlighting these words, it's easy to see that you're being asked to write about the problem of traffic congestion in large cities. Your essay must only include ideas relevant to these ideas. The instruction words are the question itself. These tell you the type of problem solution essay you must write. This is a causes and solutions question. The next task is to generate some ideas to write about. There are several different ways to think up ideas. I cover them fully on the web page and in the video on task 2 essay planning that I mentioned earlier. We're going to use the friends technique. This is the method I prefer as it allows you to take a step back from the stress of the exam situation and to think more clearly. Here's how it works. Imagine that you're chatting with a friend over a cup of coffee and they ask you this question. What are the first thoughts that come into your head? Plan your essay around these ideas. Doing this will help you to come up with simple answers in everyday language rather than straining your brain to think of amazing ideas using high-level language, which just isn't necessary. For each cause you think of, immediately write down a possible solution. This will ensure that the problems and solutions you think of are linked. You don't need to spend long on this, as you only need one or two ideas. Here are my ideas. Pause the video and read through them. I've got far more ideas here than I need, as I spent more time thinking about it than I would in the real exam. I'm going to pick just one cause to develop into an essay and one or two solutions. My advice on making your selection is to choose ideas you can quickly think of an example to illustrate. Here are my choices. For the cause I've chosen too many cars on the road. Why? Because increasing numbers of people own cars and they're more convenient than buses and trains. 
and for the solution I've chosen park and ride schemes. We're almost ready to start writing our essay, but first we have one more task to do. During the planning stage, quickly jot down some vocabulary that comes to mind as you decide which cause and solution you're going to write about. Especially write down synonyms of key words. This will save you having to stop and think of the right language while you're writing. For example, traffic jam, heavy traffic, queue, vehicles, commute, rush hour, private transport and infrastructure. With that done, we can focus on the first paragraph of the essay, the introduction. A good essay introduction has a simple two-part structure. First, you should paraphrase the question, then write an outline statement, stating one key problem or cause and a related solution. The introduction should have two to three sentences, be 40 to 60 words long and take about five minutes to write. Start your introduction by paraphrasing the statement sentence of the question. Here's the statement. One problem faced by almost every large city is traffic congestion. And this is one way you could paraphrase it, that is, say the same thing in a different way. One of the most serious issues facing the majority of large urban areas is traffic jams. Note my use of synonyms to replace key words in the question statement. You don't have to replace every key word, but do so where possible, whilst ensuring that your language sounds natural. Now we need to add an outline statement, where we outline the two main points that we'll cover in the rest of the essay, that is, the cause and the solution I chose earlier. Here are the main ideas again. The cause was too many cars on the road, because increasing numbers of people own cars and they're more convenient to use than buses and trains. And the solution was park and ride schemes. And this is one way to develop them into an outline sentence. The main reason for this is that there are too many private cars on the roads these days and a viable solution is to introduce more park and ride schemes. Now we'll bring the two elements of our introduction together. One of the most serious issues facing the majority of large urban areas is traffic jams. The main reason for this is that there are too many private cars on the roads these days and a viable solution is to introduce more park and ride schemes. This introduction achieves three important functions. It shows the examiner that you understand the question it acts as a guide to the examiner as to what your essay is about and it also helps to keep you focused and on track as you write. The two ideas in your introduction will become your two main body paragraphs. In main body paragraph 1, we'll write about there being too many cars on the roads and main body paragraph 2 will be about park and ride schemes. Main body paragraphs in problem solution essays should contain three things. A topic sentence where you introduce the main idea, an explanation where you explain it and give more detail, and an example. The topic sentence summarises the main idea of the paragraph. That's all it needs to do so it doesn't have to be complicated. It plays an important role in ensuring that your ideas flow logically from one to another. It does this by acting as a signpost for what's to come next, that is, what the paragraph will be about. If you maintain a clear development of ideas throughout your essay, you'll get high marks for task achievement and cohesion and coherence. We'll now take the idea for our first main body paragraph and create our topic sentence. The main idea is, too many cars on the roads. So our topic sentence could be, the number of people owning cars increases year on year, with most families now having more than one car. Next, we must write an explanation sentence that develops the idea. Here's one way we could write it. Most people like the convenience of travelling at the time they want to, rather than being restricted to public transport timetables. So they prefer to drive themselves around, rather than taking the bus or train. 
This is despite the fact that they frequently have to sit in long traffic queues as they near the city centre. Finally, we add an example to support our main point. If you can't think of a real example, it's fine to make one up, as long as it's believable. The examiner isn't going to check your facts. Alternatively, you could add another piece of information to support your idea. Here's my example. Whenever I have to attend a meeting in the city, I always drive because it means that I can leave home when I want to, rather than getting stressed about getting to the station in time to catch the train. That's the three parts of our first main body paragraph complete. Here's the finished paragraph. I've colour-coded it to highlight the three parts. Pause the video and read it through so that you can hear how the three parts flow from one to another. We'll now follow the same process for our second main body paragraph. First, we write the topic sentence to summarise the main idea. The main idea for main body paragraph 2 is park and ride schemes. And here's this idea summarised into a topic sentence. A solution that is proving successful in many areas is park and ride schemes. Now for the explanation sentence to explain and expand this idea. Here's one way we could write it. This is where you park your car for free in a large car park on the outskirts of the city and take a bus for the final part of your journey. The fee you have to pay for the bus trip is usually very small and this public transport system is generally very regular, running every 10 minutes or so. Finally, an example to support this point. As I mentioned before, you can make one up if you need to, as I have here. Here's my example. A survey carried out in the city of Exeter showed that the rush hour congestion decreased by 10% when the council set up a park and ride scheme to the north of the city. There was an additional drop of another 10% in traffic volume when the second scheme began operating to the south. That's the three parts of our second main body paragraph complete. And here's the finished paragraph. Pause the video again and read through it. Now we need a conclusion and our IELTS problem solution essay is done. The conclusion is a summary of the main points in your essay and can generally be done in a single sentence. It should never introduce new ideas. If you're below the minimum 250 words after you've written your conclusion, you can add a prediction or recommendation statement. Our essay is already over the minimum word limit, so we don't need this extra sentence. But you can learn more about how to write a prediction or recommendation statement on my web page about task two conclusions and in the related video. I put links to them in the notes below this video. The conclusion is the easiest sentence in the essay to write, but one of the most important. A good conclusion will neatly end the essay, link all your ideas together, sum up your argument or opinion and answer the question. If you achieve this, you'll improve your score for both task achievement and cohesion and coherence, which together make up 50% of the overall marks. Without a conclusion, you'll score below band 6 for task achievement. You can start almost any final paragraph of an IELTS essay with the words in conclusion or to conclude. Now all you need to do is briefly summarise the main ideas in one sentence. Here's a top tip. Go back and read the introduction to the essay, because this is also a summary of the essay. It outlines what you're going to write about. To create a good conclusion, you simply have to paraphrase the introduction. This is the introduction we wrote earlier. One of the most serious issues facing the majority of large urban areas is traffic jams. The main reason for this is that there are too many private cars on the roads these days and a viable solution is to introduce more park and ride schemes. And here's the same information formed into a conclusion. To conclude, the major urban problem of traffic congestion caused by the excessive number of private cars on city roads 
can be partly alleviated by the introduction of park and ride schemes on city fringes. I would certainly use one if it was introduced in my area. That's it. We've completed our essay. Here it is with the four paragraphs put together. It's on this slide and the next one. I'll leave you to read through the whole essay yourself if you want to. Go through this lesson as many times as you need to in order to fully understand it and then put in lots of practice writing problem solution essays from past exam questions. Take your time at first and gradually speed up until you can plan and write an essay of at least 250 words in the 40 minutes allowed in the exam. Practice is the only way to improve your skills. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.